Hi Agile community, my name is Nermina Durmic and I'm co-founder of Bosnia Agile organization. I have a pleasure today to speak with Jana Neufjord, a great Agile practitioner, expert and researcher. Uh, Jana, welcome to Bosnia Agile Day 2014 and welcome to Sarajevo and could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, thank you, uh, it's a pleasure to be here, I'm very happy and it's been an excellent, brilliant day with many good speeches. Uh, well, my research is basically about the question of scaling Agile, which is a question, of course, being also addressed by the many, many of the speakers this morning. And I'm taking a bit of a different approach, I would say, and it's relying a lot on what's going on in the management science field and organizational theory, uh, where there is a fundamental paradigm shift going on that letting go of traditional linear uh, reductionist models is sort of uh, now being moved away and by the benefit of, of complexity theory, systems thinking and these, these ideas and of course complexity is, is difficult and there is no general agreement actually about what it is. Generally we speak about it is something that has many interacting parts and in that there are different types of systems open closed mm -hmm. and as a manager you need to understand that the the principles behind this in order to be able to act fundamentally different in order to to enable your development organization to to sort of uh, prosper with the the agile ways of working so Okay, so your speech today is related to coordinating uh, large agile projects and teams. Uh, so what is large agile project or how many people are we talking here? Yeah, this is a good question and highly relevant question. And of course, it also debated. I'd say I would actually refer to a piece of work that Ken Power has mm -hmm. uh, published quite recently at the XP conference this spring in Rome. And he also presented it. And it's based in human systems system dynamics also a very interesting uh, approach to looking at, at your organization uh, as a complex adaptive system. But he, he talks about uh, a team within a large organization mm -hmm. and that is one way of looking at you know one team being mm -hmm. agile within a large corporation. And then of course you have other ways of looking at the large Ness, as you have many teams working within one large corporation or you have several actors interacting uh, over different borders, not necessarily in, uh, in terms of partnerships, but also within the company as, as it, it works, uh, operates, where you have different functions. You need to, as Scott Ambler was talking about this morning very, very well, in terms of interacting with other functions in your company. Mm -hmm. And this is where the large aspect come in, definitely, in my point of view, that you cannot, you cannot scale Agile unless you have an active interaction in all those functions, whether it's it's the IT department or the business people or the finance or HR, and that is that it's definitely also increasing the complexity of the different interactions that you need to get into place to be able to be agile as mm -hmm. a full organization. Yeah. Yes. And uh, what are the biggest challenges when trying to empower a large number of different teams and let them self-organize? Uh, the, the largest challenge? Yeah, it, yes. the biggest challenges that you face with. Uh, I would say, uh, and it, it also complies very well with what, uh, what many people have said here today, is the cultural change. Mm -hmm. I, and it's definitely the number one challenge. And I think the, 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 the big mistake done by many companies, and this is my personal experience also, is that you think that bringing Agile as a practice into your company will solve whatever problems you're having or challenges you're facing, but that is the wrong sort of idea, thinking that this is the silver bullet. Because what Agile, in my personal point of view, is, and, uh, is, is basically that it is an idea that is supported by a set of values, and of course the practices, the methods, and the different frameworks also that are uh, presented here today. Um, so understanding that is 
crucial that it is a culture. It defines sort of a profile for your company and then once you understand that and have that insight, you, you can look at the practices and by then adapt them more effectively to, to, to that culture of yours. And also, in that sense, you need to look at what is it that you want to achieve as a company. Mm -hmm. Is it to become agile because of it being a good thing for some reason? Or is it something else? And that is also you need to look beyond what you want to achieve with your change, regardless whether you want to go agile or anything else. And that will also help you to disentangle the challenge that knowing that agile might be one of one puzzle piece of that mm -hmm. that change. Yes. And what about the teams that are spread all over the world and having very big time differences in time zones? Mm. Oh, that is definitely also complicating it. And I'm all, again referring to, to Scott Ambler's keynote this morning that the geographical distribution is definitely a factor that that will increase the complexity of, of your adoption or your transformation uh, endeavor. Um, but again, there are successful cases, and I would say one thing that helps that today is, of course, the, the technology that we have available if you compare with the tools and, and uh, different types of techniques to, to communicate more effectively. And communication, again, is definitely one of those pieces you need to get in place if you want to change. Actually, this scenario is one of the ones that we are struggling with these days as Bosnia is a small company and we work a uh, small, sorry, country and we work a lot with foreign countries. Mm. Uh, with the big time differences and we are dealing with that problem every day. That's why uh, that, that is the reason for the question. Uh, so how would you describe Agile in one sentence? Ooh, that's a good <laughs> that's a good question. No, I, I think I would like to repeat what I just said that I see agile as an idea that is that is supported by a set of values. So it is definitely defining a very typical or very specific type of culture. And 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 I think that is definitely what I, I am aiming at trying to to, to clarify that it's uh, mo the most important part. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how did you like Sarajevo? Oh, very good. I <laughs> love it. Unfortunately, I haven't had the chance to see too much but yet, but I'm, I'm looking forward to tomorrow and when I have some time off and I'm, I'm, I'm going to explore the city. Yeah, the city is great. You will love it. Uh, well, thank you very much. We're looking forward to hearing your presentation today and we hope to see you in Bosnia Agile Day 2015. Thank you very much and I look forward to coming again. Thank you. Thank you.